Look at this. Nice. A fresh bounty of treasures is just what Ruth Haskins needed. We got fresh milk. Today's the 13th, so we're good. Potatoes, carrots, and canned goods help restock the Duxbury Elf food shelf. It's tucked away in a local church like many small town pantries. So now pretty much what you see is leftovers. This USDA donation helps them get by after the busy holiday season is over. Haskins says January through April can be a tough time to stay afloat. We don't have the donations. We don't have the food we'd like to have. But that doesn't mean the people still don't come. The people still need to come. Other groups need more helping hands. Burlington's Low Barrier Shelter encourages volunteers to bring in meals and help serve them to folks who need a place to stay. Uh, I think some of those people are even surprised that they make a friend along the way. It's often at capacity each night during the winter. And with temperatures expected at 10 below late this week, services in the area can be spread even thinner. Trying to refer people back and forth and making sure that like um, that that Nobody has to spend the night on the street um, alone. These groups need more to make sure people have both a roof over their heads and food on their plates. I don't think I've ever turned anybody away, ever. In Duxbury, Tom Garris, NBC5 News.